you've been through Why you got scars Since you walked through the door I've been trying to reach you Cause I feel you What's the story to tell? What's the story behind? The mountain you're trying to climb Think of her What's up guys, welcome back to the channel or if you're brand new here and this is the first time you ever see on my face, what's up? I am Jen, I'm sharing another grocery haul and meal plan video with you guys today and I'm clearly sitting in my car and it's kind of raining and dark so hopefully you guys can even see me but I have to multitask to knock out all my to-do lists so I am knocking out this intro while I am waiting on little dude from karate. I ended up going to two different stores this week, I had to do Target drive up, I ended up doing it three different times because I placed my grocery order without having my meal plan or list in front of me highly don't recommend not good so then I ended up having to do two subsequent orders so thank God for drive up though Target's drive up is so much easier than like any of the other stores because you can place the order and then just go whenever you're ready rather than having to go at a certain time slot like Walmart does that's what I love about Target drive up so I ended up doing that three times to get everything I needed and then I also did all these this week and I also included some of my online order stuff I've been trying to include my online order stuff in my grocery hauls as well because I do order a lot of stuff special through Amazon or through certain companies or whatever so I figure why not you guys see it throughout the weekly vlogs the stuff that I'm using so I figured I would add it in the grocery haul so you guys can see when and what I'm ordering and how much so I have included that in this week as well so let's go ahead and jump into it. of course we have Target first up for this week's grocery haul I actually made this grocery haul without my list in front of me. Highly don't recommend. So I'm sure I've actually forgot a bunch of stuff and I'll probably have to do a second order later in the week. I also have to go to Aldi's, so I'll try to get everything from there. But if there is anything, you'll see that here later in the video. So go ahead and jump in over here. Got another bag of the Siete Lime tortilla chips. Got the hubby two of the lightly salted rice cakes. You guys know that he loves those. Got some more egg bites. I've had a ton of people asking me where they can find these. I only have ever found these at Target. They don't carry them in any other store by me. And they may be able to ship them to you from Target. If you go on to Target.com, you may be able to order them like that if you don't like have a Target close to you. But that's the only place that I've been able to find them. Picked up three bags of the large raw shrimp. That's the Good and Gather brand. Picked up some strawberries and blackberries. I actually am going to stock up on berries from Aldi's this week because they always have like a way killer deal on their produce. But hubby wanted some of these for tonight, so I went ahead and just grabbed one pack of each. Picked up a couple more Bonza products. I am loving these. They are made from chickpeas, high in protein, super awesome. I grabbed some of the linguine and then I saw these. They also had a 10% off deal on these in the Target Cartwheel app. So make sure you guys are checking these out. This is the first time I had seen this, the Bonza rice. So I'm excited to try that out. Picked up a massive spaghetti squash for chicken alfredo. Of course, stocked up on my ginger root beer Zevia. What's so funny about this, I love this stuff and it's caffeine free and I feel like I just drink it like crazy. I never was a soda drinker like even before I went on my health journey and it's so nuts how much I love it now. But Zevia is a super clean, good option. This one is caffeine free, so I love it. Got two more of the Simply Pineapple Good Culture Cottage Cheese. These are 15% off, I believe, right now. And then I grabbed two of the regular. Picked up two of the sliced black olives. I love these to throw on a salad or like this week, I'll be using these on Taco Tuesday, which you'll see on the meal plan, what I am making up for that. Picked up two of the 93% lean ground turkey. I also wanted some ground beef, but they were out of it, so I will get that from Aldi's. Picked up some more of these Gilbert's Craft Sausage. This is a sweet pepper and onion chicken sausage. Super clean ingredients. They're 100 calories for one link, and they are delicious. Super easy to throw in the air fryer for lunch or pair them with some eggs for breakfast or whatever. These are really good. They have a bunch of different flavors, but these are the ones that I've tried, and I like these so far. Random had to get some toothpaste. We like this Crest 3D White. And then got the kiddos some of the ballpark hamburger buns as well as the hot dog buns. These are probably not the best option, but they at least have no high fructose corn syrup which is a win for me so not a ton of stuff from this haul but like I said I'm sure I'm gonna have to place another order or whatever I did forget hopefully I'll be able to pick up at Aldi's next up are my online orders I only have a few I actually am still waiting on some more but the first one that I got was some of the pepperoni seasoned turkey sticks from Amazon I am like obsessed with these super good I showed these in my last grocery haul they are 60 calories, 10 grams protein, zero sugar, clean ingredients, and they taste delicious. I think I'm even liking these more than the new Primal Turkey Sticks, which I still have a bunch of those. 
um, but these are like super, super good. Highly recommend. Next, I picked up some of the Natural Heaven brown rice. You guys know I tried this like a couple weeks ago. I just ordered one container like this off of Amazon. It was really good. And then Natural Heaven was having a deal on their website for six of them. So I got a box and I also picked up some of their lasagna which I will be making on the meal plan this week. It of course won't use all of these, but it came in a four pack, so I'll have plenty for the future. Absolutely love this stuff. Clean, low calorie, low carbs, all the thing. Highly recommend. Also had to get another one of my Ancient Nutrition Bone Broth Collagen. This is a pure flavor. Love this stuff. You guys have followed my vlogs for any amount of time. You know that I take this almost every single day for years now. And you actually can earn points from them and get other stuff. So I had a bunch of points saved up from ordering these. I actually have it like on a recurring subscription. So you can set it up for like every 30 days, every 60 days, 90 days, you can pause it, whatever you want but I take it all the time so I like that it just automatically comes to me but I did have some points and they offer a ton of different things collagen supplements all kinds of stuff but I saw this hormones for women this essential oils so I wanted to go ahead and give it a try and it was free so I figured why not love this stuff and I always have a referral link down below if you guys want to check that out I'm also waiting on some American Dream Nut Butter I made a huge order I think like I don't know, six or seven tubs. My husband is like next level obsessed with it. And I'm like, we have to wait for this to ship. You can't eat it this fast. He likes putting it on those uh, airy cardboard things called rice cakes. So that's his next level obsession right now. But I do have more of that on the way, but I don't think it's going to come before you guys will see this. So I will film it in next week's haul so you guys can see all the flavors that I picked up. But now Aldi's is up next. Okay, Aldi's is up next. Didn't eat a ton of stuff from there this week, but just stocked up on the few things that I needed and then also found a couple fun items which I will show you in a second we'll go ahead and jump in right over here you guys know I like to get this artisan lettuce I think is how you say it, it has four heads of lettuce in there I grabbed some fresh broccoli I made baked broccoli last week and I forgot how much I love it so grab some more fresh broccoli to bake up I got four things of 93% lean, 7% fat ground beef for two different meals this week. Grabbed another English cucumber. Love these. Go through them like crazy. Got some blueberries and some strawberries. You know, I already picked some up at Target, so I just grabbed one more of each. And if you remember from last week's grocery haul, little dude wanted some green grapes, but they didn't have any. They were out of them at Aldi's. And this week they had some. And look at them. They are massive, dude. This is like a huge thing. He absolutely will love those. Got three bags of the frozen broccoli florets just because I always like to have these on hand and I normally have a ton of them and didn't even realize that I had ran out. So got a few of those. I was out of egg whites so I went ahead and picked up another carton of egg whites. I'm going to be making some protein French toast so love the egg whites for that found some of this medium roast cold brew coffee they also i'll insert a picture they also had some like pumpkin spice latte they had a couple different kinds of them but i just went with the pure black unsweetened then i picked up some of this elevation brand vanilla protein shakes 30 grams of protein and my hubby loves these and they're good to add in coffee or anything like that I have tried the caramel and the banana and they're both awesome, but I saw the vanilla this time and went ahead and picked that up. Got some whole milk for the kids, some bananas, I got a thing of avocado oil because I am going through the spray like crazy. It lasts about three and a half seconds and it's way expensive. And for some things, it's just easier to use this. So I went ahead and picked up a bottle of that. I saw these and went ahead and picked them up just because feeling in the pumpkin spice fall season. They had this pumpkin spice whip topping and maple vanilla whip topping. They both are the same macros. 15 calories a piece, one gram fat, one carb, and zero grams protein. But I figured these would be good for the kids on French toast or pancakes and or coffee for myself. The hubby sounded super good, so I'll let you know how those are. Picked up two of the organic Simply Nature sauces. Got the roasted garlic and the tomato and basil. In all organic ingredients and killer macros. 45 calories a piece, zero grams fat, seven net carbs, and two grams protein. And like I said, the ingredients are super legit. So I went ahead and grabbed two of those. Of course, Badia Complete Seasoning I was out of. Always have to keep that on hand. Got another thing of grated Parmesan cheese. Got little dude some Cheez-Its to take to school lunch. Got some tuna, some of the chunk light tuna and some of the solid white albacore tuna. I'll be meal prepping with some of this this week, which I will be filming. So make sure you guys are looking out for that. Got some parsley flakes because I was out of them. 
Got some of this stir in ginger paste. These from Simply Nature Organic. Love this brand. They have this in like the garlic paste, ginger. They have a couple other ones, but I love them. So I don't actually need any of this until next week, but I figured I'd go ahead and grab it in case I don't end up shopping at all these next week. I picked up this as a treat for my daughter. It is some gourmet edible cookie dough, chocolate chip, eat it, don't bake it. And I think she will absolutely love this. So I got that for a treat for her. Picked up some fresh corn on the cob. Fam absolutely loves that. And then picked up one of these dragon fruits. These are really good and my daughter loves those. So I wanted to pick up one of those. And that is everything from Aldi's this week. And they also had a couple other pumpkin spice. They had some oat creamer that was pumpkin spice flavor. I'll insert, I think I have a couple pictures of those. If I did, I'll insert them now. And I did have to do another little Target order because I did forget a couple things, but I was actually surprised it wasn't too bad. And mostly for the kiddos, I had to get some more smart food popcorn for them. They don't have the little single serve bags to put in little guy's lunch. So I just got two big bags and I'll just put it in like little Ziplocs or whatever so he could take to school. And then some of the Purdue Chicken Plus dino nuggets that he loves and then of course i got another pack of this good and gather apple and maple chicken sausage these things are bomb.com if you haven't tried them definitely recommend and then just needed some regular old salted butter okay guys so i thought i got everything but just kidding there was still a few things that i had missed out on so i went and picked them up this morning i got some reduced fat mozzarella cheese some oven ready lasagna pasta i'm going to be making lasagna over the weekend i'm going to do half of it with this regular pasta for the fam and then I'm using the Natural Heavens for my half of the lasagna. I got some Good & Gather Part Skim Ricotta Cheese. This is 90 calories a serving, 6 grams protein, 3 carbs, and 5 grams fat. Some of the chopped onion flakes you guys know I'm obsessed with. And then I picked up three of the regular low-fat Good Culture Cottage Cheese. These are 25% off right now, so a good time to stock up. I already have a couple but I went ahead and just grabbed a few more. So this is really the last few items that I needed from Target. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the meal plan for this week. A lot of recurring things. You guys know my theme by now. Try to make it the simplest and easiest to stay on plan. And I suggest that to you guys as well. Try to keep it simple. You don't always have to like switch things up if you want to more power to you but you don't have to you can just eat repeat things and simple things to keep yourself on plan and trucking along through the week so that's my go-to but monday we are going to start out with some protein oatmeal per usual with some berries monday's lunch i'm going to go in with some of the applegate all natural beef hot dogs with some cottage cheese super simple and quick dinner i'm going to be making chicken and broccoli alfredo tuesday's breakfast will be egg bites per huge again sausage links from target that i'm like next level obsessed with and some toast with the good good jam lunch i will be doing chicken sausage and zucchini Dinner, I will be doing taco pie. And again, like always, I weekly vlog all of this stuff if you guys wanna see how I'm putting it together or a lot of them I'm filming for a what's for dinner. So make sure you guys are looking out for those. Breakfast, I will be skipping on Wednesday and lunch will be again the chicken and zucchini on repeat with a protein shake. Dinner will be something new I have never made before, but again, I'll be filming that for a what's for dinner also. It's baked shrimp scampi with some of the bonza pasta. Thursday's breakfast will be protein oatmeal again and the same repeat lunch, chicken and zucchini with a protein shake. Dinner will be super easy, spaghetti squash. You guys know that's like one of my go-tos. It's super quick and easy to make and it's delicious and it makes for awesome leftovers and I will be incorporating them into Saturday night's dinner. Friday's breakfast will be again egg bites and some of the chicken sausage. Lunch will be a tuna melt with some of the siete chips. Dinner will be either turkey or beef stroganoff. I had it on the meal plan last week, but I didn't end up making it, so I am gonna be making the stroganoff this week, and I'm not sure yet if I'm going to be using turkey or beef, but stay tuned to the weekly vlogs and you'll see what I end up doing. Saturday's breakfast will be protein French toast with some of the sausage links, the chicken sausage links from Target. Lunch, of course, will be leftovers. Saturday night's dinner will be a lasagna and a salad, and I will be using the spaghetti sauce that I make on Thursday night's dinner. I'm gonna make a bunch of it so that it will knock that time out and just make putting the lasagna together on Saturday super easy. So I love dinners that you can make one batch and it's enough for multiple, pro tip there. And then per usual also, Sunday will be meal prep and leftover day. Go ahead and clear everything out to make room for the upcoming week and prep all day, which I will be filming this week's meal prep for 
for you guys and I have a couple yummy things on there so make sure you guys are looking out for that. Snacks this week are the same as always. Number one go to is the Built Bars, then the Chops and New Primal Turkey Sticks, loving both of them. Opti Greens and Reds I include every day as well as the Bone Broth and the American Dream Nut Butter if it hurries up and gets here. I do still have one left but I am almost out of that so hopefully my order will get here soon. And don't forget I always have a link down below for the Built Bars if you guys want to snag some up and in with Jim will save you okay, some so money. That is a wrap for this week's grocery haul and meal plan video. I hope you guys are getting some ideas from the hauls or the meal ideas or any of that let me know down in the comments below if you are or any new recipes that you have found that you were loving and including in your weekly dinner rotation I would love to hear them or new finds products that you guys are finding I may do a couple different stores next week I'm not sure I already have my meal plan pretty much laid out for next week um, so I'm not but I'm not sure yet exactly where I'm going to shop but of course stay tuned make sure that you guys are subscribed make sure your notifications are clicked that way whenever I post new videos you guys won't miss out on them also make sure to follow me over on instagram i'll pop my handle on the screen here at in with jen and of course as always thank you guys so very much for watching and i will catch you in the next video sometimes it really feels like i lose control